story today is about a friend of mine. This friend of mine is very tall and he's very fat and he's got white hair and he's got a white beard and he's got a big jolly smile and he's got a very loud laugh. Ho, 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 ho. That's how he laughs. So, of course, when it comes to Christmas time, if you're a very tall man who's very fat with white hair and a white beard and a jolly smile and a laugh that sounds like this. Ho, 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 ho. I'll tell you what happens to you. People say, oh, please, will you dress up as Father Christmas? Oh, please, will you come and pretend to be Father Christmas for our school, for our shop, for our children's party? He gets that asked that all the time. Of course, he isn't the real Father Christmas. I've never seen the real Father Christmas. I'm always asleep when he comes. But my friend, he dresses up a bit like Father Christmas because he's tall and he's fat and he's got white hair and he's got a white beard and he's got a very jolly smile and he laughs like this. Do it with me. Ho, 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 ho. Now, at one time, he was asked to go to be Father Christmas at a school for children that found it difficult to learn things in school. And in those days, there was a special school for children who found going to lessons in other schools quite difficult. And... My friend liked going there to be Father Christmas, so he did it every year. And so he would come along every year, it was the same thing, and he would come along and he'd say, he'd smile his jolly smile, he'd all be all dressed up like Father Christmas in red and white. Of course he was big, but he was fat, white hair, white beard. He would laugh like this, ho, 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 ho. He was carrying a big sack full of presents and he'd say... Now, who's been a good boy and who's been a good girl? And he'd smile like that and go, ho, 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 ho. And the children's eyes would pop out. They'd say, oh, my goodness, it's Father Christmas. I wonder if he's got a present for me. And he'd open his sack. It wasn't the real Father Christmas. He would open his sack and he would get out presents. He would hand the presents out to the children. And all the presents had a name on. And he would just sort of check with somebody who worked in the school to make sure that everybody got the right present. And of course, pretty soon, all the children, were, they, they got their present and they started opening them and they were very excited. One year, when my friend went there, he noticed after he'd handed all the presents out and all the children were ripping away at the, at the paper, trying to find out what their present was. They were so excited that they were shouting and screeching. He noticed one boy at the end was sitting there quietly and he wasn't opening his present. So my friend, who was pretending to be Father Christmas, went over to him and gave him a jolly smile. And he said, why don't you open your present? And the boy said, I'm going to open my present when I'm sure that everybody has got a present. Because last year, there weren't enough presents and one girl didn't have a present. And my friend thought that he learned something that day. And he can't quite tell me what that something is. But he liked telling that story about the boy who didn't open his present until he was sure that everybody else had opened their present. And only then would he open his present. Because, of course, if there was somebody else without a present, I think he was going to give them his present. Shall we say a short prayer? Loving Father, 
We thank you for all the fun we have at Christmas. We thank you that we can give each other presents. We thank you for all those excited feelings we have on Christmas Day. Father, help us when we're buying presents for each other. To remember those people who might not get a present this Christmas. Father, we ask you to look after them. Use us as a channel of your love to help them celebrate Christmas this year. Amen. Now, if you would like to help other people make sure they have a happy Christmas, you could go on our church website and see where it says Christmas Appeal. And you can see how you can send our church money and you'll see a list of charities that we're going to share that money with. Or you'll also see on that website links to those charities if you want to pick a charity and send money to them. And that will help, all those charities will help somebody else have a happier Christmas than they otherwise would. Bye for now.